Hey everyone, my name is Jessie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a TBR tag. Not because I was tagged or because anyone asked me to, but because I want to. So I will link the original creator of this tag down below as well as list out all of the questions. So if you're watching this and you make videos of your own and you would like to participate in this tag, consider yourself tagged. So let's just get right into the questions. The first question is, how do you keep track of your TBR pile? So I've got kind of the virtual TBR on Goodreads, right? And that's easy because Goodreads has the shelves that you can make and easy to track that way. But then I've got my physical TBR. And if you've noticed, I've kind of switched my strategy on this. I used to have a separate shelf solely for the books that I hadn't read yet. But now I've incorporated those books that I haven't read into my normal shelves, but they're turned backwards, <laughs> which I like hate that aesthetic of all the books backwards on a shelf. Like I hate not seeing the spines. So it like irks me to see these turned backwards, which is just more motivation for me to actually read these books so that I can flip them around on my shelves. So you know that if a book is facing outwards the correct way, I have read that book fully. <laughs> So that is my strategy for keeping track of which books I have not read. Second question, is your TBR mostly print or ebook? Print, solely print. Um, the only time I would ever have an ebook is if I'm reading the physical book and don't want to take the physical book somewhere with me or want to read it at night while my husband is trying to sleep. I pull it up on Libby if it's available on the Kindle. Um, version of Libby, then I will pull the book up and borrow it that way. But I'm always, I always have the physical book in hand and will just complement it with like an audiobook or an ebook um, to help me get through it faster. Third question, how do you determine which book from your TBR to read next? So roll the dice, the TBR game that I have every month is the primary way. And then the second way is when it becomes available on Libby. So you're allowed to put 10 holds on Libby, which is an application on your phone if you're like, what the heck is Libby? Um, it's an application on your phone that hooks up to your uh, local library. So if you have a library card, you can, um, look up your local library card and it'll sync your accounts and you can borrow books for free and such, but you have to put holds on audiobooks that are very popular and sometimes those holds are weeks and weeks long. So whatever it comes available on Libby, that's usually the next book I'm going to read. Um, so that's, that's pretty much how I pick my books. I'm not a mood reader. I can pretty much read whatever, whenever, um, which is lucky, I guess, in some ways. Um, so that's how I pick. The book that has been on your TBR list the longest. Honestly, I have read now all the books I've hauled um, up to Cyber Monday. So on Cyber Monday last year, like last November, I placed a huge book outlet order because everything was so cheap. So I got like 30 books on book outlet that I'm still trying to get through. So I guess like those books. Then on my Goodreads, I don't even know, probably like The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I feel like I added that like very, very early on in my reading journey and I've not read that yet and I don't know what I'm going to. Maybe I should just remove it from my TBR now. A book you recently added to your TBR. Um, probably the most recent book I added this recent book I added was a book called The Master of Sorrows and it looks like a fantasy novel that came out last year and I had never heard of it but I saw a picture of it on Instagram and it had the most stunning cover. I'll put it right here. It's the most stunning looking book and it sounds so good. I read the synopsis and it says that it's about this boy who it's like the, the age old tale of this orphaned boy who you know is brought up by this wise old man and kind of uh, fulfills this prophecy but it twists that classic trope and says what if this boy happens to be also the villain and he has this like evil god that's like 
growing inside of him. So I'm like, whoa, okay, that sounds really good. And I haven't heard anyone talk about this. So I think this is the one, I think I just added it today. So that's probably the most recent. A book on your TBR strictly because of its beautiful cover. I'm like, most of my books <laughs> are because of that. Um, probably Wicked Saints. Um, I haven't heard great things about this book. I think a couple people have really enjoyed it that I've seen, but most of the people don't like it. So I, I feel like I typically wouldn't have picked this up, but the cover was so stunning <laughs> that I did anyway. I'm actually really excited to read it and hopefully like it, but yeah, this was totally a cover buy. <laughs> a book on your TBR that you never plan on reading. I, and I don't have any on my TBR that I never plan on reading. Even like The Secret History by Donna Tartt is one that I do plan on reading eventually, just not anytime soon. <laughs> so um, yeah, no, I, it wouldn't be on my TBR if I was planning on reading it. Unpublished book on your TBR that you're excited for. Um, Addie LaRue by um, V.E. Schwab is coming out later this year, which is like my number one, I think. Um, Burn by Patrick Ness is coming out this summer. That's another one that I'm really looking forward to, as well as Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff, which is coming out now. It's pushed back to 2021, which is ugh, killer. But yes, all three of those I'm probably the most excited for. A book on your TBR that basically everyone's read but you. Ooh, I have a good one. Hey, Daisy. Yeah, this one for sure. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't even like, need to say anything else. Yeah, I haven't read this yet, but I do have a planned video specifically for this book and a couple of others. So stay tuned. A book on your TBR that everyone recommends to you. Um, probably Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I've had a lot of people recommend Skyward to me because I love Brandon Sanderson and I've been trying to get more into sci-fi and I really like artificial intelligence that has a personality and all of these things Skyward just checks the boxes for. So probably Skyward. Yeah, I really need to read that soon. A book on your TBR that you're dying to read. Oh, like a lot of them I'm dying to read. I think the one I'm most excited for would probably be Recursion, which I am reading this month and I'm so excited for it. Dark Matter was one of my favorites ever, so I just feel like this is going to be everything that I need in my life. Yes. And then the last question for this tag is how many books are on your TBR shelf? So I looked on Goodreads and I have 310 want to read books on that site, which is a lot. <laughs> um, but my physical TBR, so the books that are flipped around, um, I've only got, well, only, <laughs> I've got 45, which may sound like a lot to some of you, but I have seen some people with like upwards of hundreds of books that they haven't read on their shelves. And I don't, want to get to that point so I'm proud to only have 45 <laughs> and I'm putting myself on a book buying ban for this whole month because I need to get through these books maybe the only books I'll buy are sequels like if I finish the eye of the world and love it then I'll like buy the great hunt but other than that I'm not buying any books that was all the questions. So hopefully you like this video. It was fun to do. If you want to do it, please feel free. Consider yourself tagged if you're watching this. Thank you so much for joining me today and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. I release new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time. Bye.